loves this one. Still debating that brain buster that Valentine beat Bill Frazier with. Do you think that if Rip Hawk was in the match, that Valentine could win with the brain buster? Do you think that Hawk is equipped to allow Valentine to win with the brain buster? It's about half equipped. A brain buster. He'd never beat Hawk with that. And back we go again. Charlie Venator is the referee. Lorenzo Parenti applies the head scissors. And how's the supply of Bush Bavarian holding out? Yes, sir, that cool bottler can right about now. Many ways to say it. Drinks good imported Bavarian hops, but boys, all you got to do is just open up the bottle and pour and then just... And that's it. O'Connor bouncing around, Parenti with head scissors and flying head scissors and Cape Canaveral head scissors and astronauts and... Watch this O'Connor though. He's out of it. <laughs> yes sir, O'Connor. Is he holding it? He is. He's holding on to it. O'Connor still holding on to it. Got to go for that. Pat O'Connor. And Lorenzo Parenti, round and round we go, says O'Connor. His wife probably has one of the most unique names of anyone we've met in a long time. Her name is Remember, Remember O'Connor. Charlie Van Ader is the referee. And our two boys at work here, Arenti and O'Connor. You know, you don't realize what goes on in the telecast when you sit home and watch a particular show. Right now, Tim Marasuga's on the top camera. He's been protecting the shots because we've had some problems with our bottom camera here. And he's really had to maneuver it until Ted Wallman gets an action. Now, as soon as he gets his shot, I'll point it out to you just to show you how much work's been going on that top camera. He's rolling around now. It's still Meritsuga on this shot. There's the first shot that he's had in some three or four minutes. And if I hadn't said anything, you would never have known him. Great crew. And I appreciate the work that they do, and the last was a paid political announcement. <laughs> no, we have a lot of fun here, and we got a good crew. And you hear it said many times, but unless you got a good crew, you just can't have a good show. Lorenzo Parenti and Pat O'Connor, meanwhile, back at the ranch, continue with head scissors and leg locks, and look at here! And the crowd loves it. A tremendous exhibition of wrestling by Pat O'Connor. 
and young Lorenzo Parenti. O'Connor with the years, but young in body. Charlie Venator is a referee. Yes, sir, the crowd likes this one. And we've got as nice a crowd here tonight as you've ever seen. As the expression goes, they all washed up nicely. Got a fella sitting here with his hands folded in case the accident happens, he's ready. His wife is just across the table and just went, ooh. Parenti and O'Connor. A headlock by Parenti. Here we go, King Sal. Oh, now. I mean, uh, hey, that didn't take long. We didn't even get to King Sal and Lindell. Ten minutes have elapsed, ten minutes remaining. Lorenzo Parente applying the pressure as he grunts and squeezes. And O'Connor says, where's the buffering? Charlie Venator bouncing around. Charlie's had a pretty easy night of it. Boy, he's had some nights here when he could have thought of a thousand things he'd rather do. Hey, here we go, King Sideway. Whoop! Ah, hello! Boy, that's a lot of raviolis. Hit and run. Whoop! Hey, how about that maneuver? You gotta like that. You gotta like it. There's Roy May, Arthur Godfrey. Let's get the official announcement from Eddie Gromacki. In 11 minutes, 11 minutes and 32 seconds, with the cradle hole, the winner, Pat O'Connor. We've got both of them. Hey, Pat, Lorenzo. Pat, that was a tremendous match, and we want to congratulate both of you. The young fellow gave you uh, quite a tussle. Boy, tremendous. A real terrific athlete and a real credit to wrestling, Joe. Uh, he really gave me one of my toughest matches when there was a battle of wits, a battle of science, and a battle of good wrestling. Did you set up the uh, submission hole, or did it just happen? Well, I sort of set it up hoping it would come off, and uh, lucky for me it did. Lorenzo, you lost for a good match. Um, thank you, sir. I got a lot of respect for Pat. You got for me, um, he's still real good, you know. But I, I do my best. I try to beat him. You know, good that's, boy. That's my... Well, if you're like me, I know you really enjoyed that Parenti O'Connor match. And we've asked Pat O'Connor to come out just to talk to him about some of these holes that he's using. Pat, come on over here. Pat O'Connor. How about that? I could talk to the champion like that. I said, Pat, come on over here like I could lick you or something. But, Pat, it's nice of you to come on out. I know you've had a tough match. But the fans, I know, enjoyed it. Tell us about some of the holes. First of all, a headlock. Now, you see it. It looks so easy in the ring. Uh, what's so tough about a headlock besides strength? Well, uh, Joe... The uh, tough part about these holes is always the way you apply them, and it's not just actually putting a, an arm around a man's neck. You know, this hole was made very famous by one of the greatest and one of the most famous of all wrestlers, Ed Strangler Lewis. He was a great wrestler for many years, and he made this hole famous, and I'll show you exactly right. how he taught me. Now, you got a nice slick head to work with. That's right. Now, <laughs> you got to agree. Ed Lewis showed me how to put the uh, ends of the fingers under your jawbone there and then hold on. Now it's Whoa, I see what you're doing now. It's really here that hurts. 
Absolutely. It is in a cross here. That's right. I see. You don't have to brush between meals when you do that, right? Not exactly, no. And what was that thing you did to Perani where you had his arm back here? What, what, is that a particular hole? Well, that is known as a hammerlock. In wrestling jargon, it's known as a chicken wing. And it's a very uh, tough hole. It's a tough hole to get out because simply you are behind the man when you have it applied. There are several ways of putting that on. There's one way we can put it on this. Uh-huh. I don't know where I'm going. And there's the second side, is like that, where I hold it there like that. And you're just going up with it. That's right. I just pull nope. it right up on it. What does that do? Just It's getting me off balance is what it's doing well, for one thing. Absolutely, it's getting you off balance. That's what I mean to do. I'll get you off balance, and then i put you down on the mat. While I've got that, and then it's tough to get out of. Well, you're really not applying that much pressure, but I am off balance all the time. Joe, the reason I'm not applying that much pressure, because it's Joe, Gary Joe. Oh, I see, off. I see, I see. I okay. see. Okay, okay, all right. I got now. The one I want to ask you about, though, let me take my coat off first, though. I'm not going to challenge you, my friend. You're Just... not going to challenge me, but you look like it. The one you put on Parenti now, it has to be your favorite. Now, what do you call that? I call it the uh, reverse rolling cradle. And I've used it uh, many, many times. And in fact, it's proven a tremendous match winner for me, Joe. I've won a lot of championship matches with this hole. What's the key to that hole? The key to that hole is to get a man off balance and roll him over backwards. This is the professional style. Do it the collegiate style, you'd roll him forward. Now, what do you call that? Reverse rolling cradle. Now, do you, you have to get in a particular position to do that? Well, Joe, not too much. Just that I'm behind a man. Once I get behind here, I have command of that situation. Now, we'll do it kind of like in slow motion. Now, what, I, you're behind me, we'll say. Now, what That's would right. you do? All right. See where my right foot is? Yes. My left is right behind you. So I, all I do is this. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> and, and now I can't get up. Huh? No, Joe, you can't get up. This is my match winner. Now, I can't get my shoulders up. Now, what do I do? You just count it down. There's a three pin there. Now, just put, don't put a whole lot of pressure on me, but just kind of like you're trying to pin me. I see. Hey, you got me. Hey, while I'm down here, I might as well give the, give me the matches and I'll sign off. Gordon and Kiyomuka, that was a draw. Valentine B. Fraser. O'Connor B. Parenti and Garagiola. Johnny Costas. You, you know, that really smarts. Where did you learn this hole? I learned it in collegiate, then, uh, of course, on the professional match. Do you work out in a gym and do these kind of things? Yes, I do. How long can you keep a guy down here? As long oh, as you want? Yes. Did anybody teach you this hole? Yes, I worked at it on a number of years. You know, I'm getting why I'm enjoying it down here, Pat. <laughs> Pat, we certainly enjoy it. Joe. And now I'm going to try to get up. Will you try to unlock me? <laughs> The champion! Pat, thank you very, very much.